Hey guys, it's Amesy here and today I'm going to be giving you a futuristic house tour on Adopt Me as well as showing you a secret room and what you can do with it basically. So first of all let's have a look at the outside. So we've got this nice modern front area with some seating. Unfortunately you can't actually sit on those but they still look really nice. We've also got some decorations outside, we've got some trees, we've got this little wooden area with some lights hanging down and yeah overall I think this house looks really nice from the outside as well as on the inside. Before I show you the inside don't forget to check out my Roblox group, link in the description down below and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more. So as you head in, you head into this front area and it does look different to this, I've decorated mine slightly, I haven't finished yet but it normally starts with like some boxes and different bits just all around the place and you just get rid of those if you don't want them. So the first room that we come into is like foyer area and I've decided to make it like a place to hang like hats and coats and things and this is my little pet area so they can eat and drink and sleep here as well as a little dog like here as you can see. So if we head in the room on the left this is like the kitchen, lounge, dining area, whatever you want to do with it really but I've made mine a bit of a mixture of everything. As I said I'm not finished with this yet but I tried to go for a kind of modern theme to go with the outside of the house. So we've got the living room here, we've got a sofa, a little seating area there and a nice big TV as well as a coffee table and I tried to make it all match and then as we head over to the back of the room there's a kitchen area and I've got a cooker, knife stand and all the bits you need in a kitchen really also got a bin and we've got a little breakfast table as I like to call it where there's just like your condiments and some food and stuff and you've got a mug rack and I've also made a little dining room table with some bottles in the middle and I tried to make that tie in with the living room as well but I'm going to put some probably like posters or like a bookshelf or something in here as well to make it less plain so the other door that we see is on the right and this is the bathroom so I kept mine nice and simple again um, just to give you a little idea of what you can do so I've got a little shower here some towel racks and a sink and a toilet, that's it. And then on your left is the pool area. So I, what I've started is placing what are called floor plates. And basically what you can do with those is, if I give you an example, you have to place the first one like half on the stairs if you want to do this, that is. Um, and then you'll have to place another one on top and then move it slightly further back to get it in the right position that you want it to be in and then what you can do is just place loads of these floor panels or floor plates and you can make a second floor so I think that would be a great idea for this area here because as you can see if you were to step down there you've got loads of room so it would come across about that high so yeah you can make two floors in this bit and just use the stairs to get across to this side and then you can jump down here. So my pool area. I think I'm going to add some like lounges at some point. Um, I'm not sure about the sofas at the moment but it did come with those so I just left them there. Uh, it's got a nice little coffee table area and I've put a hot tub here because I thought it'd be better suited down by the pool than it would if it was in the bathroom. And you can take a bath now with your pets and with a friend if you all need to get clean. We've also got the pool which I have a mermaid float for so you can throw that in there and you can hop in. Oh maybe I have to be a child so if I change to a baby and then get that out. There we go I'm sat in that now and you can float around the pool like you would if you were to have a floaty in real life and you can also swim about as well. So I'm just going to change back to a parent and we're going to head upstairs. 
So you can do whatever you want with these rooms. Um, I think they start off as like a kid's room and an adult's room there. But if we head into this first room, I've called this kind of like my filming room slash like office studio kind of area. First thing that you see is this like photo backdrop. I think if you type in photo, yeah, it's called a photo wall there. So you can like take pictures, I guess, but it is quite bright in here. So I might change the walls at some point. But then I've got a little desk area so I can sit down and go on my computer. So yeah, it's my little photography slash office studio area. And if we come down the corridor, we've got the bedroom and I kind of added the cribs in there as well because when you want to earn money, you earn money quicker by being a baby and you can't sleep in adults' beds. See, only parents can use this. So I've got two there so that me and my pet can sleep at the same time. And yeah, I've just put a wardrobe, clothing rack, a uh, little safe down there, bookshelves that I don't have any books on, and a little seat here at the moment. Obviously, like I said, with all of these rooms, I'm not fully finished yet but just gives you a little idea of what you could do or could include. So, the last door is out onto the balcony. So, as you can see here, we've got quite a big balcony and you could put some benches and seating, maybe like some plants and things to make it look nice, and maybe match the front. Um, so yeah, I think this house is really cool. However, now we get into the even more fun part and that is the secret room. Now, if you want me to do a video on all of the secret rooms in each of the different houses, then let me know in the comments down below. But, you might be wondering why I've got a few bricks on the wall here. Well, you can add maybe like stairs or um, a bookshelf or something, but I thought this was quite cool and abstract. I don't know if it actually is, but I did it anyway. And what you do is you jump up onto here, there we go, and then if you look up, you can see it says sit here. So what I did was I placed these bricks on the wall and then I turned around to face this way. And as you can see already, just then I glitched outside. So I'll show you that again. If you zoom out of your character and then spin the camera lens round, it will go right near your character's face and then it should reach a point where it looks outside of the house. There we go. Might take a little bit of fiddling about but it does work. Then what you can do is edit your house and place a stool or chair or something here. I've just placed a little log to sit on. Then you click sit there and now you have a whole roof to the top of your house that no one knows about. So what you could do with this is make it like a party roof so you might have loads of speakers and a stage and it might be like a dance area or you could add more rooms, a couple more bedrooms and things like that. There's also this part of the house here so you can add some stairs going down and you can have a whole nother room there. It's basically like your house but double the size and what you can do is for the flooring because you won't be able to change this floor you can do the same as what I did above the pool so you can add the floor plates and then you can just change those afterwards so if I just type floor here you can add a thin floor plate look there's a dance floor there so you can add that up here to have like a party area and yeah it's like a little hidden secret room and it's really cool because it gives you extra room in your house and you're able to put whatever you want up here. There's no limitations. The room size is huge if you want one huge one. And yeah, so once you get up here, what you need to do is add another seat on the wall inside your house. So you might want to do that before you try and glitch your camera out um, to then place this seat so that you know you're gonna be able to get back in. If not, you'll just have to jump off the side and respawn or just click reset in the top left corner. So if I click sit there, it takes me back through to my house. As you can see, I'm sat on the wall and then you just jump down. Sometimes you fall and sometimes you land on your feet, but that doesn't matter. You might want to place that seat on the wall before you glitch 
um, just so that you know you've got a way back into your house that's easier. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more and check out my Roblox group in the description down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!